Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable autosave in Microsoft Word so you can write in peace. Sometimes things like power outage and software crashes could force programs to close without giving a chance to the user to save their work first. Thankfully, Microsoft Word has a feature running in the background that will automatically save your document even without you manually saving it. So you will be better prepared in the events like I mentioned earlier. Alright. Here's how to turn on autosave in Microsoft Word. So first, open a document. Any document, doesn't really matter. And then go to File. Navigate to Options. Select Save. And then enable auto recover information every 10 minutes. Here you can change the number if you want to make the autosave more frequent. For example, I'm going to set it to 2 minutes. And then also enable keep the last auto recover version if I close without saving. This option means the auto save file won't be deleted once you close the program. And then you can also select the auto recover file location. By default, this is where your auto recover file will be saved, but feel free to select another folder if you want to make it easier to access later. But for now, I'm going to leave it as it is. Alright, now you can click OK. From now on, the autosave will run every 2 minutes, so in case there is a power outage or when the program is forcibly closed, you will still have a backup of it. So let me give you an example. Alright, I have this sample document and I want to change something in it. Let's say I'm going to change the title from News Today to Latest News. Now, I'm going to wait for 2 minutes until the auto recover feature is kicking in. Alright, it has been more than 2 minutes and I'm going to force close the program without saving it. And here at the auto save directory, I still have the recover file and when I open it, it will show the latest version of your document. This way, you don't have to worry about power outage or software crashes knowing that a copy is stored somewhere on your computer. And that is what I have for you today. I hope this guide helps you and thank you for watching.